here because this is the genesis. This was the beginning of this convention world. They all started with the superheroes, going back to the 1930s with Batman and Superman. The fascination with superheroes began with the start of the comic book when it was published in 1933. And Wizard World Comic Con New Orleans is the one-stop shop for the ultimate superhero fan. Just to dress up, you know, I enjoy doing this. I've been doing it for the past six months or so, and I love it every time. Just like seeing kids' reactions to me, it's makes it feel great. The main feature this weekend, the cast of Captain America Silver War, with a visit from Captain America himself, Chris Evans, and co-star Jeremy Renner and New Orleans native Anthony Mackie. Other featured guests, Barry Bostwick from the Rocky Horror Picture Show and the cast from Geekster Inc. Legends, as well as Michael Golden, the comic book artist for Star Wars, The Walking Dead, Spider-Man, and Rogue. And it's really nice to have these people come up to me and say how much they've enjoyed my work over the years, that they've introduced their family, their kids to my work, so it's ongoing and becomes generational. Mike Carbonera, a comic book expert, wants to see what your collection is worth, and in his possession, the first Batman comic book. It's $25,000. It's in kind of beat-up condition, and in near-mint condition, we would pay up to a million dollars for this comic book. But the stars will tell you, it's a day to be with the fans. To Chris. Yeah, I appreciate it. CH? Yes. I love the, the guys who come up and they're 70 something years old and they said they saw it. Uh, and then uh, the, the little kids, the eight, 10 years old, come up dressed as, you know, Rocky or dressed as Frankenfurter and I go, show me your parents. Uh, your parents, I'm, get the police over here, please. I, I don't think you should be walking around like that. If you do a play, you get immediate audience response. So I view this kind of as a delayed audience response to your work. Farrah Rayner reporting for WDSU News.